Get the thorns out. Mark chapter 4, verses 18 to 19. Now these are the ones sown among thorns. They are the ones who hear the word and the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches and the desires for other things entering in, choke the word and it becomes unfruitful. As we continue looking at the parable of the sower this week, the parable that Jesus said is the parable of all parables, which unveils to us important insights concerning the kingdom of God and how God operates, how God works in his kingdom, the parable of the sower. We've covered several insights over the last few days. And today we consider the third scenario, the third kind of ground Jesus referred to. He said, this is the kind of ground where when the word is sown, people receive that word initially, but they allow other things to come in. It's like thorns that grow along with the seed that is sown. So as that seed is beginning to germinate and begin to grow into a plant, right around it are thorns that choke the word. They prevent the sunlight, they prevent the, the plant from receiving uh, the nourishment it needs and they choke it and the plant withers and dies and, this, and it does not result in any fruit. And Jesus says, here are the things that choke the word of God. He said, the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches and the desires for other things, entering in, they choke the word. So these are the thorns Jesus is talking about and so we get a very important insight here. God's word, if it is going to produce in our lives, we must keep the thorns out of our heart. You see, our heart is the ground, our heart or spirit is the ground where the word of God is germinating and it's beginning to produce. It's beginning to show signs of life. It's beginning to grow up, but we've got to keep the thorns out. What are the thorns? He said, the cares of this world. Now. We all have responsibilities on the earth. We've got, you know, jobs, we've got things to do, we've got families, we've got all kinds of responsibilities, but we cannot allow the cares of this world to become a distraction. We cannot allow the cares of this world to overburden our hearts. We cannot allow the cares of this world to occupy our hearts. While we, are, we live in a responsible manner, paying attention and taking care of our responsibilities, we don't let them fill our hearts and occupy our hearts because then they choke the word and they keep the word from producing. The cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches is the second kind of thing that Jesus spoke about. That means we get attracted to the riches of this world. They are actually deceitful. They are actually deceiving us, fooling us, uh, telling, causing us to go astray, away from the word. So we get caught up in the deceitfulness of riches and then we neglect the word of God. So that begins to occupy our minds and we lose out on the power of the word. And the third thing he said is the desires for other things, other affections. Instead of keeping our affection, first and foremost for God and for his word, other kinds of affections, whatever it could be, uh, 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 maybe recreation, maybe, you know, all kinds of other affections you can you and I can think about in this world. If they begin to fill our hearts, if they begin to occupy space in our hearts, they will choke the word. So these are the thorns we have to keep out. Guard your heart with all diligence because out of your heart come the issues that shape your life. Proverbs 4 and verse 23 says, so keep the thorns out, guard against it. Keep a pure heart before God on a daily basis. Just go before God and say, God, if there are any thorns beginning to take root in my heart, take it up. I want to keep my heart as good soil for his word to produce. Let's pray. Father, we ask you, Lord, for the grace to guard our hearts and to keep the thorns out. The cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches and the desires for other things. Help us to keep a good heart so that your word can produce in our lives. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.